so first of all you come at the start icon you will see a search bar here you type visual as soon as you type visual you will see the visual basic program 2019 will be shown you click on it it will open the program so here is the program Visual Studio 2019 you will see that there are several options here you need to select the last option create a new project so you click on it then you will have again several options here you need to always select console application because for your level you need to use console application so select console application and then you click next then here you will need to give your project a name your application a name and where you want to store your project so I will call my project project test So I will store this project on my desktop. I click here on browse. Then on the left hand side, I move to desktop. So now you need to select a folder where you will store your project. But I want to create a new folder. I, click, I right click, I select new. Then I select folder. And I give my folder a new name. Visual Basic Projects. So this is the name of my folder. I have just created a new folder. I select the folder and then select the button Select Folder. Now you will see that whatever project name you have put here, it will be the same for your solution name. Now you click Create. And you wait so here is the visual basic program the main screen it is here that you need to type your code in submain so as you can see there is one line of code already written in visual basic 2019 so what I will do I will modify the program so that it prints hello world followed by the word by so so here it is i have a simple program that will print hello world and output by as well so how you run this program you you have two ways either you press Control and button F5 on your keyboard or you press the run icon here to run your program so I press it here as you can see my, pro my program has run so here it is hello world and bye and then you can press any key to close this window so this is how to launch VB 2019, write a simple program and run it.